how do we dawa to the deviates etc uh, sex and islam how do we dawa to them but that is the question that how do you do dawa to various sects in islam whichever sect is there in islam is clearly mentioned in the quran in surah al imran chapter number 3 verse number 103 wa tasimu bi hablillah jamia wala tafarraqu hold to the rope of allah strong name be not divided so allah says hold to the rope of allah the rope of allah is the glorious quran the glorious quran and the sahih hadith so every muslim should hold together to the glorious quran and sahih hadith and be not divided quran clearly mentions in surah anam chapter number 6 verse number 159 that anyone who makes sects in the religion of islam o prophet you have nothing to do with him so making sects in islam is haram and unfortunately we have various sects among the muslim community various sects it's clearly mentioned in the quran several places making sex is haram if you and what was the beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam what was he he was a muslim so all the muslim should go back to quran sunna that is the reason the best way to do islah to a muslim is whenever you give a reply quote the quran the sahih hadith so once you start giving references the people will come to know the truth from falsehood so whenever you give a reply always follow up with proof along with references many of the speakers they give answers without referring to quran and sunna without giving references so when you make it common in the general masses that whatever answer you give back it up with proof with reference and quotation from quran and sunna there are chances to come back to twofold and islam is only one it's not divided do our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in hadith sahih hadith of tirmidhi he said that there will be 73 sects in islam the prophet didn't say he should make they will be out of which only one will go to jannah the people ask which one he said those who follow the prophet and the sahabas so all those who are on the straight path following allah and his rasul and the beloved prophet said that if you do not find in the quran or in my sunna look in the next generation the sahabas if you don't find there they look in the next generation then the next that is sahaba tabain and then tabe tabain so for example for any proof or huja we look into the quran if you don't find the quran look into the hadith of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sahih hadith if you don't find there then the lifestyle of the sahabas then the tabain then the tabe tabain so if you follow this you are on the true path anyone who deviates from this path is not following to islam hope that